salam bila shaka mtazamaji ni fahari yangu kuungana nawe tena papa hapa kwenye runinga ya KTN News kwenye taarifa za mbiu ya KTN natumai kwamba ijuma yako imekuendea vyema na usalama salmin karibu tuangazie vidokezo tulivyokuandalia hii leo jina langu ni Frida Mwaka na hivi sasa nitakuwa natanguliza tu na taarifa tuliyopata kutoka kwa Wizara ya Afya basi mtazamaji hii leo ni kwamba watu na moja wamepona na kuruhusiwa kwenda nyumbani na idadi hiyo kufikia watu 1550 angalau tutuanze na taarifa njema ambayo inatupatia motisha kwamba janga hili la covid 19 tunaweza likomesha vile vile mtazamaji ni kwamba visa 117 vimepatikana ama vimerekodiwa hii leo visa vipya vya watu ambao maambukizwa na virusi vya corona idadi hiyo hivi sasa ikigonga 1400 na wanne watu ambao mpatikana na virusi hivi kati ya watu 117 watu 112 wakiwa ni wakenya na watano wakiwa ni raia wa nje 30 na 83 ni wanaume na hamsini na wanne ni wanawake na kwa taarifa ya Tanzania ni kwamba idadi ya wafu imegonga 119 hii ni baada ya watu wawili zaidi kuaga dunia kutokana na virusi hivi vya corona ndio taarifa tuliyopata awali kutoka kwa Wizara ya Afya Tuangazie taarifa nyinginezo ni kwamba madereva wa masafa marefu wanaosubiri kupimwa virusi vya corona katika eneo la Mahimahiu barabara ya Naivasha wameingia siku ya sita ya ngoja ngoja hiyo bila mafanikio ni taarifa ambayo mtazamaji tutakuwa tunaiangazia kwa muda uso mrefu kwingineko ni kwamba huku bara la Afrika likijitaharisha kupambana na ongezeko la visa vya COVID-19 kwa kiasi cha juu zaidi muungano wa Afrika AU umezindua mfumo wa kuwezesha mataifa kununua vifaa muhimu akizindua mradi huo kwa njia ya Zoom rais wa Afrika Kusini Cyril Ramaphosa ambaye pia ni mwenyekiti wa baraza la muungano wa Afrika amehakikishia mataifa kuwa mpango huu utatoa fursa kwa wavumbuzi kuuza vifaa vyao kwa njia rahisi mwanahabari wetu George Maringa alihudhuria kikao hicho na ana mengi zaidi Tangu uje wa ugonjwa wa COVID-19, mataifa ya bara Afrika yametegemea pakubwa vifaa vya hospitali vinavyotolewa kwa njia ya michango au kununua kutoka kwa mataifa ya bara zingine. Ununuzi haswa umesababisha kucheleweshwa kwa vifaa hivyo, ongezeko la bei, kando na vikwazo vya kibiashara. We started this platform initially. And... Hata hivyo huenda mambo sasa yakabadilika. Baraza la Muungano wa Afrika AU limezindua mfumo kwa jina Africa Medical Supplies Platform utakaowezesha bara hili kupambana na janga la COVID-19. Uh, Uzinduzi huo umefanywa na Rais wa Afrika Kusini Cyril Ramaphosa kutoka jijini Johannesburg kwa njia ya Zoom. So the most... But I think that this platform that we have created now uh, is going to really contribute in changing that. And I think as uh, we had earlier the Africa continental free trade area uh, is really going to be given a major boost through this because uh, we insisted right at the onset that we would like this platform as Strive Masiwa said uh, and I think as Vera also said we insisted that it should include African uh, manufacturers and suppliers Kufikia sasa bara Afrika lina jumla ya visa 275000 huku zaidi ya watu 7300 wakifariki Taifa la Afrika Kusini linaongoza kwa visa barani na baraza la EU lina matumaini kuwa mradi huu utachangia pakubwa kupata suluhu Sincerely I am very I am very proud of this term on this mobilization in Africa Governments private sector women youth NGOs There is a very very important mobilization and uh, to to implement this uh, uh, continental strategy. Uh, as you know we, we set up a fund. Uh, the the chair of the board is Professor Orama of of Zimbabwe. Uh, I think the mobilization of the pre, the private sector, the African private sector is very very important. And uh, 
I think it is uh, uh, a new exercise. And uh, the example is this platform. I think uh, uh, I am very, very optimistic. Japo kuna mikataba mbalimbali ya biashara bei itasawazishwa kwa bidhaa zitakazouzwa kupitia mradi huu ambao ndio wa kwanza kuvumbuliwa duniani. It's it's very simple. The, the, if we have 10,000 uh, ventilators, uh, the platform takes the 10,000 ventilators and allocates them to each country based on its population and disease burden based on a formula given to us by WHO agreed by all the countries. So if you go to the platform, it will say Nigeria 1,000, Ethiopia so many. So the national buyers, when they go there, they see their allocation. So they don't end up fighting for someone else's allocation. All that can happen is if they don't want their allocation, they advise us and we redistribute the allocation. Mfumo huu utaongozwa na shirika la kupambana na magonjwa barani Afrika, Africa CDC, kwa ushirikiano na Benki la Afrix Bank pamoja na mashirika mengine yasiyo ya kiserikali. Shirika la Afrix Bank litashughulikia malipo huku mashirika ya usafirishaji pamoja na kampuni za ndege zikisafirisha bidhaa hizo kwa mataifa mbalimbali. Mbali. George Maringa, KTN News. Na mtazamaji kaunti ya Nairobi bado inaongoza katika idadi ya juu zaidi ya walioambukizwa na virusi vya COVID-19. Hebu tuipate taarifa kutoka kwa Wizara ya Afya. We have 117 people who have tested positive for coronavirus disease over the past 24 hours from a sample size of 3043. The new positive cases pushes now our confirmed cases to 4,374. The total tests carried out so far are 133,541. Of these 117 positive cases being reported today, 112 are Kenyans and five are foreigners. The age ranges from 11 years to 75 years. 83 are males, 54 are females. In terms of distribution by county, these 117 are distributed as follows. Nairobi 51 cases, Mombasa 22, Kajiado 18, Kiambu 6, Nakuru 5, Garissa 5, Machakos 3, Kericho, Busia, and Wasingishu, two cases each, and Wajer, one case. Below the counties at the sub county level, we look at Nairobi, the 52 cases come from Kibra 8, Langata 8, Makadara 6, Dagoreti North 6, Kamkunji 4. Mbakasi East 4, Mbakasi North 3, Mbakasi South 3, Madare 2, Ruaraka 2, Mbakasi Central 2, Mbakasi West, Starehe and Kasarani, one case each. Mombasa's 22 cases come from Mvita 8, Kisauni 5, Changamwe 4, Likoni 3, Jomvu and Nyali, one case each. In Kajado, the 18 cases recorded are from Loitoktok, 12, Kajado Central and Kajado East, two cases each, Kajado North and Kajado West, one case each. In Kiambu, the six cases are from Thika, three, Kiambu Town, Limuru and Lari, one case each. In Nakuru, all five cases reported are from Naivasha. And in Garissa, the five cases in Garissa are from Dadab refugee camp. In Machakos, the three cases are from Athi River. In Kericho, the two cases are from Ainamoy, 
while in Busia the two cases are from Teso North and Matayos. In Wasingishu, the two cases are from Kapseret and Soy, while the one case in Wajer is from Wajer West. I'm also pleased to inform you that we have discharged 91 patients from our various hospitals, bringing the total number of recoveries to 1,550. I want, once again, to thank our healthcare workers for the excellent work that they are doing out there. However, on a sad note, unfortunately, we have lost two patients to the disease, bringing the total fatality to 119. We send our deepest condolences to the family and friends of the departed. Finally, as you can see clearly from the numbers above, the spread of the virus is concentrated in some areas. Some areas, especially within the epicenters of this two large metropolitan peri urban and peri-urban areas of Nairobi and Mombasa. This could be attributed to change in behavior in some of these areas. For instance, we are aware that in certain parts of the city here, especially in, in some of the suburbs such as Westlands, Lovington, Kileleshwa, and Hallingham, we are seeing increasing number of young people congregating in groups and organizing gatherings such as house parties. Tuangazie siyasa baadhi wa bunge kutoka eneo la kisi wamemtetea waziri uchukuzi James Masharia dhidi ya jaribio la kumngatua ofisini na longozwa na mbunge wa Nyali Muhammad Ali wakiongozwa na naibu kiongozi wa wengi katika bunge la kitaifa Jimmy Angwenyi wabunge hao wamesema watapinga jaribio lolote la kupitishwa kwa msada huo bungeni wakitaja jaribio hilo kama ambalo lisilo na nia njema na ambalo linafanywa kumpiga Masharia vita kisiasa bila msingi wowote Macharia has done great things. Members who are sitting in the transport committee, they always tell us the good things that they are doing. If there was anything, then we could have had it from the committee of the House, which is oversighting him. So we, we urge everybody else, even our members of parliament, let us not engage in this game because it's not going anywhere. We want to associate ourselves from that motion, from that impeachment motion, because we, we know for sure that CS Macharia has been able to do his job very well, very effectively, throughout the country. And uh, if we have other committee which deals with uh, transport, roads and transport, and that committee has never given a negative, uh, a, a, a negative uh, statement on the, on the performance of that minister. We also do have PIC and PAC, the, 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 the committees that deal with uh, the, the, the issues of, of exchequer to do with the ministries and the, and the, and the state corporations. And they have never given a, 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 a negative uh, report on the, on the CS that when the motion, if it ever finds its way to the House, we will oppose it. We have confidence in CS Macharia. We know the work he has been doing, going around the constituents. We have seen he has started from Central, and we know he will be going to every part of this country in order to make sure and see, in order to see and make sure that the road network in the country is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is up to date. We want to hatch our colleague uh, Mohamed Ali, that we are waiting. We are eagerly waiting for that motion on the floor of the House and let him be prepared that he will lose in the morning. 
Mbunge wa Nakuru mjini Magharibi Samuel Arama ndiye kiongozi wa hivi punde kumsuta mwenzake wa Nyali Mohamed Ali kuhusu mipango yake ya kuwasilisha mswada bungeni wa kumngatua waziri wa uchukuzi James Masharia. Arama anasema mswada huo ni mpango wa mrengo wa Tanga Tanga kwa paka tope wa ndani wa karibu wa rais katika hatua ya kulipiza kisasi baada ya wandani wa naibu wa rais kuondolewa kutoka nafasi za uongozi katika mabunge yote mawili. Ali alimlaumu Masharia kwa anachokitaja kama utepetevu kazini unaozidi kuliathiri eneo la pwani kiuchumi. Najua ya kwamba Majaria is the most trusted CS. The most trusted CS the president trusts. Uhuru Kenyatta ana trust yeye sana. Mimi nikaangalia nikaona pengine kama iko siasa. Hii mnaendelea saa hii hii nimeona watu wanaanza kusema sema kando kando ya wengine wanaenda kupungua muofisi nyingine tuko na chama moja inaitwa Chupiri Party of Kenya. Na nikiangalia yule kijana ya Nyali ni kama ako na natoka kwa mrengo fulani. In fact I was shocked to even see yesterday some members of parliament saying that they are signed were going to sign a repetition then they are coming to say that they want to withdraw. Where why were they signing in the first place? That makes me think that initially ni kama ilikuwa ni agenda ya tanga tanga lakini hapo the idea is that maybe the right side it cannot see the, the, the right of the day uh, they started to the signatures Mapokezi ya seneta wa Kakamega na Kinara wa Ford Kenya Moses Tangula iliingia mchanga baada ya maafisa wa polisi kuitibua. Ilibidi viongozi walioandamana na Wetangula kimbilia usalama wao baada ya polisi kufunga barabara na kuarushia vitoa machozi. Viongozi hao wakilazimika kukongamana nyumbani kwake seneta huyo na kudai baadhi ya viongozi wa magharibi wanaompinga ndio waliosababisha kuvamiwa kwao. <tos> mmetupiga kimilili mmetupiga tukiteremka pokoli mmetupiga sasa mnafuga njia ya kwenda kwangu nyumbani this is the this is the road to my house but they are busy throwing tear gas hurting innocent people this is not right this is not the freedom we fought for in the constitution 2010 they have blocked us from going to chwele they have blocked us from going to kibabi mayanja but it's okay these are our people they can't take them away from us i want to condemn the activities whatever has been done today it is very very shameful in our constitution is very clear that the, under bill of rights there's freedom of association and freedom of movement today it was a barbaric uh, incident and we want to condemn it in the strongest terms possible because i didn't see why party leader was coming to his home we are accompanying him and all these tear gas but as Mulembe nation, I want to tell the doubting Thomases, from today henceforth, Mulembe nation will never be taken for granted. For the last 20 years, we have supported one Honorable Amolo Odinga. And I think it's high time he reciprocates and supports us. We are aware he is behind all these machinations, he is behind the dissolution of NASA because he knows that NASA has locked him, he cannot stand as a president. I read, I saw in news yesterday, a committee chaired by Fred Matiangi purporting to identify the projects that they are going to finish in our region. I want to tell them that uh, these regions were initiated by us. Mm. We were led by Senator Wetangula, we appeared before the budget committee and rallied them to put money so that these projects can be completed. Hayo ya kijiri mtazamaji ni kwamba biwi la Simanzi limewatanda wakazi wa Mois Bridge baada ya kupata vipande vya mwili wa msichana mdogo aliyepotea mwezi jana kwa njia ya kutatanisha. Grace Njeri aliyekuwa na umri wa miaka 11 huenda alipotea tarehe na moja mwezi Mei baada ya kuonekana mara ya mwisho akicheza na watoto wenzake. Baadhi ya viwili wili vilivyopatikana ni fuvu la kichwa, mbavu miongoni mwa vingine baada ya polisi na wenyeji kuanza operesheni ya kumta 
kutafuta msichana huyo wa darasa la sita. Wakazi sasa umegadhabishwa na ukosefu usalama sehemu hiyo huku visa vya mauaji vikitajwa kuongezeka. Chifu eneo hilo Wilson Sirma amesema uchunguzi umeanzishwa. Nilipofika kwa kweli nilipata, nilipata kichwa ambaye imebaki tu skull na pia manguo ambaye ni jacket top paika na slippers ambaye mto, e, na socks ambaye imepatikana kat... tangu mwaka jana mwezi wa kumi, mpaka saa hii tumepotesa watoto saiti ya tano, ni sita, saba. na ugiona ugiona vile tunapotesa watoto ni ka, watoto wadogo wa miaka kumi, kumi na moja. haijulikani ni kitu gani inafanya tunaomba kwamba idara yetu ya police hata CID waingilie kati kabisa tujue shida ya hii mosbi ni nini sababu sio vijana sio wafulana wasichana na hii ni ni ya tatu sasa ama ya ine. na tungependa tujulikane ni nini inaendelea kwa taarifa ya Tanzania ni kwamba mtoto wa umri wa miaka minne amefariki mjini Mwingi katika kaunti ya Kitui kutokana na kile kinachoaminika kuwa ni ugonjwa wa kalaza. Watoto wengine moja wa umri chini ya miaka kumi wamelazwa katika hospitali ya Rufaa ya Garissa kutokana na hofu ya ugonjwa huo unaosababishwa na kuumwa na inzi wa mwituni maarufu sunfly. Kwa mujibu wa daktari Philip Mutemi wa hospitali ya Garissa dalili kuu na hatari ya ugonjwa huo ni kufura tumbo. Regina Kas yoka mama wa mtoto aliyefariki kutokana na ugonjwa huo alielezea huzuni ya kumpoteza malaika wake. Na watu wanatibiwa garisa ile ugonjwa wanatokana na kule inatoka kwa sasa fly angamia. Na hii ni jambo sasa nimekadiria sana kusema ngamia iondoke. Tuko na shida sana. Tuko hapa, tuna pesa ya kulipa hiyo 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 kitanda na tunahesabiwa kwa siku moja kitanda ni 250. Hiyo hiyo kwa, kwa wengine hawana hiyo pesa. Nikaenda Saikuru Hospital, nikapewa transfer letter mpaka mwingi. Kama mwingi kasemekana hawana ndawa. Nikapewa itini ya kujagariza. Sasa nikajagariza. Mali nililazwa na mtoto ambaye alikuwa amegojeka sana. Shida yake ilikuwa ni tumbo kufura ambayo ni shida imekaa almost 6 months. I'm begging my county government to do a excellency Madam Gilo to understand this because uh, he is the head of the county and also the governor here is the head of the county and the governor of this county is well provided by the government as he also is 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 also fitted. So I request her to take a step on this. Tuelekee kisi ambako zaidi ya wakazi 5000 waliopoteza makao yao kutokana na mafuriko na maporomoko wanaendelea kutabika licha ya kupewa msaada mapema wiki hii. Maafisa kutoka kwa idara ya kusimamia majanga kwa taifa na kaunti waliwafikia baadhi ya familia hizo katika sehemu za kisi na kujaribu kuwasaidia. Mapema wiki hii gavana wa kaunti hiyo James Ongwae pia alipeana misaada ikiwa ni awamu ya kwanza ingawa haijawatosheleza wakazi hao ambao idadi kuu ni wakulima na wameishiwa haswa baada ya mashamba yao kusombwa na mafuriko huku mimea na mifugo ikienda hasara kwa sasa wanaitisha misaada zaidi ya kiutu kwa familia zao <tos> We have done the food distribution uh, from uh, Monday and we had gone to a number of places, Getenga Ward, uh, Nyamondo uh, and a number of other places and we are headed uh, to Vumachoge Church so that we can be able to complete the exercise. Ni manyumba ilipomolewa na maji. Tulilala inchi. Mwikubali mtusaidieki. Kitu kitogo kile ambayo mnapenda. Watu wengi wameadhiria na hii shita sana ni watu wengi na manyumba ni nyingi sana kwa hivyo hata mashamba imeathiriwa na hii mvua mingi sana kila mwaka tumepata hii shita sana ya landslide hata mashambani chakula yetu sio mzuri sana kwa sababu hii mvua ilipo sana 
So tunataka eh, yu governor wetu tena angalie hii round nyingine atusaidie hata mahindi atusaidie hata wamama wa pesa wanunuate vitu vya nyumba Bunge la kaunti ya Wajir hatimaye limepitisha majina ya wanachama walioteuliwa na kamati ya bajeti ya bunge hilo siku moja baada ya mgogoro kutokea baina ya wakilishi kutokana na wakilishi katika kamati hiyo Speaker wa bunge hilo Ibrahim Yakub aliwapiga marufuku wakilishi wadi waliohusika kwenye vurugu hiyo kutohudhuria kikao cha bunge hilo kwa siku 21 wananchi wameelezea ghadhabu baada ya speaker kuzuia wanahabari nje ya jengo la bunge huku kikao kikiendeshwa chini ya ulinzi mkali wa maafisa wa usalama one single person who opposed the motion the only way we can the, the, we saw that it, we can uh, we can um, stop it is uh, to to bring some chaos yesterday the, the minority had their say and today the majority had their way so we had a quorum actually a quorum is 16 members and we had 30 members today the county executive committee member for finance who is in charge in the county treasury to ensure that those documents are brought to the county assembly for approval, approval perusal na mtazamaji kufikia hapo na kamilisha taarifa za mbiu ya KTN lakini igongapo saa 12 kamili nitaongana nawe kwenye taarifa za dira ya wiki na hii leo ikiwa ni siku ya kimataifa ya kupinga dhulma za ngono tutakuwa tunajadili swala nzima la ongezeko la mimba za mapema hapa nchini Kenya jina langu ni Frida Mwaka tukutane saa 12 jioni inshallah